Hi guys, it's Richie Schwartz, and I'm here to talk to you tonight about a little problem a lot of people have on Facebook, and if you do, it's really a stressful situation, so hopefully I'm going to help you avoid it. Um, if you're not in this particular situation, it's still great information to have, um, and what I'm going to teach you to do tonight is how to download all of your Facebook data into a file and uh, that you can have on your computer. And um, First of all, um, I'm posting it in my uh, social media group. It's called, um, oh, here it is. It's called Social Media for Small Business 101. If you don't put the 101 and you search for it on Facebook, you'll come to some other group. And I'm sure they're all good, but mine is really cool. Okay, that's Social Media for Small Business 101, as you can see across the top here, like I've got that. So let me explain something to you. Um, if you own a small business or you have any kind of business and you have a personal page that you've been using to promote your business or do business, Facebook doesn't like that. Facebook does not want you to use a personal page for a business. And the simple reason is because they can't make you pay for it. Um, uh, so they, they do give you a warning sometimes. And sometimes they don't. And of course, if they don't, it's a horror show. Here's what happens uh, when Facebook finds out that you're using your personal page for business. There's three different ways that they deal with it. One is they delete your personal page and they do it without warning. You just wake up one day, you go to sign on, and there's no such thing as you anymore. There's no more page. It's gone. And what that means is that so are all the pictures you've uploaded. So are all the videos you've uploaded. So are all the record of your private messages and chats. So are all the comments and posts that have been made on your page by you and others. The uh, Another way that they deal with it is they give you a warning. They let you know ahead of time, hey, you're using a personal page for business. We don't like that. You have to change. And um, they'll tell you how to do it. It'll say something like click here to change and or your page will be deleted basically. Um, the other thing is, the other way that they deal with it is uh, they will change it for you. Um, you'll log on one day and lo and behold your personal page is now a business page. and It'll give you some options if you want to make some changes to it but that's what happens. Now uh, again in all those situations, all your photos, videos, and messages are going to be gone. Uh, the only good thing about uh, the last two options is you will get to take all your friends and move them over, and they will become your fans or followers, um, your likes, basically, on Facebook. So you will get that moved over, and that's really important, especially if you're running a business. So the thing you don't want to happen is for Facebook to delete your page without warning and lose all the information. So what I'm going to show you is how to download all the stuff. If any of those things happen and you want to have all those pictures to re-upload them, you want to have that uh, friends list to uh, go back and remember who you had as, as friends, acquaintances, customers, and colleagues, it's a great way. So it's really uh, pretty simple and it's really just a matter of people not knowing that this process is here. Um, I'm using Google Chrome. I can't remember the interface on Explorer. I'm not going to bother with that, but it, what, you want to go to your settings. So over here is the little pull down menu. Uh, scroll down to settings and you would click right here on the settings and uh, in your general account settings at the bottom of that stuff right there is really easy. It says right here, download a copy of your Facebook data. So we're just going to click on that. Um, now mine says download archive because I've already done this process. It's already archived it for me, but it'll probably say something uh, I don't remember exactly. It should say something like download a copy of your data, something like that. It's going to ask you to uh, enter your password. So you'll click on it, enter your password, and then it's going to tell you that uh, we are now gathering the information. It's going to take us a little while and we will send an email to the email address um, affiliated with this account when it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to, uh, let's see if I can get my email here real quick. 
So I've come over into my email program and I will see the first email that comes to me will say um, it's uh, Facebook acknowledging that a, re a download was requested. Of course, the one reason they do it is for security purposes um, to make sure that it was you. And if it wasn't, you would click the right the uh, one of the links uh, and let them know it wasn't you. But if it is you, of course, they're just letting you know that another email will be coming. So you really wouldn't do anything with this. Um, here's the, the second email that came uh, because like I said I've already done it before one thing you can take a look at is over here you see that the first uh, notice came at 10.03 p.m. and then when I clicked over here the next one came at 10.11 p.m. so that's eight minutes it took uh, eight minutes to download my data and that's going to vary on your on yours depending on how much stuff you have how many videos how large they are uh, how many photographs and uh, how large they are as well. Once it tells me that I'm ready, uh, the download is ready. It does have a link in there and all I have to do is click on it and it will take me over to uh, the link where I'm going to download my stuff from. So, okay, as you see, um, it's got <clears throat> download archive. So, um, this basically is going to be all the stuff that we want. So we're going to click on download archive and I'm going to put the password in. And I'll click submit and okay, you could see over here, it's now downloading my uh, files. So since I did do all this earlier, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the part where it's downloaded that zip folder as you could see zip file I'm sorry is 175 megabytes so it'll take a few minutes to download which is why I've skipped over here um, I use a program called pzip uh, it's a free program it lets me do a lot of different things with uh, zip files um, I chose extract here in new folder so what I have here now is a new folder with all the files that are extracted. I'll just double click on it and we'll see what Facebook has given me. And what you see here is videos, photos, and HTML. We'll start with the easy one. Let's open up the videos and um, I have the details on if I want to view with the thumbnails. It's showing me thumbnails of all the videos that I've uploaded to Facebook um, on my personal page. and. Um, you know, these are videos that I've created, videos of friends, friends of friends, and things like that. So, they're pretty simple. The other thing we have here is the photos, and let's click on that. The photos, you'll see here a whole bunch of different folders. Now, actually, these folders correspond to the folders you have uh, or in your Facebook page, except they call them albums. Um, so each one of these is one of those different albums, whether it's your timeline album or your cover photo album or your personal pictures album or just different events or different things that you upload. I'll just click on one. I'll see if I can figure out by uh, the pictures. All right, so I know that I have an album called Pet Photos. It's one of the first albums I uploaded when I first made the page. And so uh, I, what I would do is I would just uh, go ahead and take that folder and click rename and I'm going to name it the same that I have on uh, my Facebook page I said one on my Facebook page I don't know uh, that's not the way I talk okay so um, uh, again here's another folder let's see what it is all right these are my cover photos so uh, you know what I'm going to rename it cover photos and so forth I'm not going to go through the whole process with you obviously this is what you could do with yours and um, Okay, oh, this is a folder I have of uh, examples of uh, retouch work that I've done, restoration work, I should say. And, of course, I do have an album named Restorations or something like that. And I actually let friends upload their pictures there, by the way. And um, for free, no charge, I will fix your pictures. We fix your pics. How's that? So let's come on back to the next one. This is the biggie here, HTML. We're going to click on that and you see a whole bunch of stuff. Um, this file, this folder here actually contains uh, most of the stuff that you're interested in aside from the videos and aside from the photos and uh, everything up there from uh, pokes that you've gotten, given, places you've been to, 
um, your security settings, um, your Facebook settings, uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, any ads you've ever done, it's got, con I'll click on the contact info so you can see what that looks like. Um, so obviously it pulls up everything that I have uh, listed on the page and um, different things. Uh, you can see over here it's going to let me go ahead and click on some other stuff. Um, for instance, if I click on events, it's now going to show me any event that ever showed up on my Facebook wall since the beginning of time which in this case was down here February 16th 2010 I guess okay so going all the way back to that as far as the events go um, I could click on something up uh, something else here uh, let's say friends and here it's showing me my friends list and uh, unfortunately there's no rhyme or reason to it. It doesn't have it in alphabetical order. It doesn't have it in date order, anything like that. But the, uh, you know, thank God the list is there. If it's some, some, in some cases, you could see, uh, depending on how they have their information listed, it will save their email addresses too. A lot of people hide their email addresses. Some do, some don't. So you could see how that works here. Uh, scrolling on down here on this list here, um, we're going to come to something new, and this is I sent friend requests to these people. Um, these are received friend requests, so these are people that sent friend requests to me. Um, these are people that have been removed. Uh, these are followers. Uh, uh, followers, I think, uh, at some point I um, I changed my security uh, stuff so that people can't just follow me I'm sorry they can't just friend me um, they follow me something like that I'm not really sure uh, that's for another day uh, okay and then uh, let's go ahead and let's click on the wall and see what we have here uh, this is actually amazing it's every post they ever made on my wall uh, whether I made it or someone else made it and uh, again this goes all the way back to the beginning of time um, it looks like you could click on these but you can't so there's there's nothing there that uh, the photos that go with these are in the other folder so there's that but it does have all the messages that I have made uh, or someone else has written on my timeline here's you know for my birthday people wishing me happy birthday and again uh, if I scroll all the way down it's going to show me the first post I made which was October 4th in 2008 so quite a long time ago and uh, so uh, basically every every uh, comment that's ever been made on my timeline whether it was from me uh, or someone else is here on the wall for reference so you could go ahead and play around with all this other stuff and uh, see what you come up with and um, really that's about it I'm gonna, let me just uh, click back here uh, I can go I'll go back here so you know any of those things that you needed um, is here I'm not sure that I've ever done any ads let me see what it says about ads oh this is interesting uh, this actually just shows any ads that have shown up on my page um, so that's pretty interesting um, it shows um, all these different uh, you know those little pop-up ads that show up in the corner or to the right you know over the years it's moved around where it shows up but uh, there it is um, and then it's showing uh, actually um, it looks like ads that I've made or, and, or clicked on so there's a whole lot of information here and um, it's uh, quite the thing so look hopefully you won't need to do any of this stuff hopefully you won't have any problems and um, you'll be able to have a nice um, sleep download all your stuff and um, if you're using a personal page for business now's the time to go ahead and create a business page um, uh, your life will be a whole lot better if you don't get stuck having to do it and instead do it as you wish to do it um, and that's about it so um, if you want to uh, see this video again or other stuff like it I'm posting it in my Facebook group social media for small business 101 come on down and join the fun